Now, there's lots to talk about with you, <laughs> most importantly of which is, I can't remember, you've only got one leg. Well, uh, yes. I was in a car crash. Oh, OK. Enough, yeah. uh, what have you got tattooed on the other one? I have one foot in the grave tattooed on my leg. And uh, <laughs> it's actually gone quite viral all over Facebook. Over all over Halifax? Uh, all over the UK, 100%. Oh, well, it's all over the oh, UK. Oh, it's massive, yeah, number one. Everywhere. Number one tattoo. No, absolutely. Right, this is good. This is, I'm feeling... I've got an apology to make. <laughs> You know, yesterday you said that the photograph of your leg had gone viral, your still attached leg, yeah. had gone viral, and I said, what, round Halifax? And you said, no, round the world. <laughs> it really has. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It really has. Have we got a picture of it somewhere we can bring up? Look at that. One foot in the grave, it says. <laughs> I don't think people are finding that as funny as I did. <laughs> I think it was funny. Well, I think it's funny as well. And also, the other thing, when you had your accident, you lost your leg. Yeah. The makeup girl was telling me you died five times on the operating table. Yeah, I, uh, I flatlined before I got to the hospital, flatlined at the hospital. When I come into ICU, they told me mum, they told me dad, they told my wife, uh, basically a 2% chance of living. Uh, so I've beaten the odds. <laughs> Let's hope you beat them again Absolutely. tonight. So, here we go. For a hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. The ruins of Urquhart Castle stand on the banks of which lock? Lock Lomond, Lock Ness, Lock Broom, Lock Marie. I know this, and I know this because I lost my leg there. Not, not the castle, chill out. <laughs> you lost it? In Inverness. If I, if I remember rightly, on the lock, and I wasn't there long, so I've got to tell you, it's, uh, there's a little inlet with a castle, ruins there. So, Kismet, I've got Loch Ness. Oh. Is that your final answer? <sighs> Don't know if my wife would kill me if I lost this much money. Loch Ness, final answer. You've just won 125 pounds. <laughs> Just the best show, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, you'll be thinking that. <laughs> I need my article. Right about now. <laughs> now. Hey, this will improve the fixtures and fittings in your cafe. <laughs> yeah. you're right. It's one of the main sites, apparently, uh, for reported sightings of the Loch Ness monster. Yeah. Not that it exists. So you crashed. You actually crashed there because that's a remarkable piece of good fortune. Not uh, <laughs> well. Yeah, uh, not I mean, you know not actually I mean. at the. <laughs> No, we, yeah, uh, basically, we'd booked a tour to go see that. Within that day, I crashed, so, yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the money. Final answer. Final answer. Absolutely, yeah. Right, well, I'm going to push the mouse there, start the process, which will transfer to you £125,000. <laughs> Where's your mum? The stunner. She's probably fainted. <laughs> She's proud. I? You must be proud. Very, very. Yeah, I would be. Um, OK, look, before you go... Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. No, come on, we've got to do okay. this. I'd have gone British Museum. You'd have gone British Museum. You would have had a quarter of a million. Oh. <laughs> but... Sorry. There is no but, is there? No. <laughs> I've, got, I've got money, I don't care. You have got <laughs> £125,000. Ladies and gentlemen, Gareth Kendall! <laughs> that was just fantastic. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh. Oh,
Martin.